Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have YCS Minneapolis 2022 Finals, and we have Michael Tamez on Flounderies going up against Chris LeBlanc on Tier Element Sprite, and I guess we could just go ahead and skip ahead. We're going to see them roll 10, and then Chris roll 12. Alright, so we're going to see Chris decide to start, we see Beaver, Fenrir, Starter, Fenrir... And Solix. So it opens up to Fenrir, which is a little bit unfortunate. Also, they have an hour and five minutes for the finals. That's crazy. Um, all right, then summon Fenrir. An hour and five minutes for the finals. Yeah, I did not expect that, but all right. Um, then they're going to get the effect to go search. Go search for another Fenrir. I have to turn this down. Yeah, I have, the, uh, have it to where I can like, hear what they're saying. Alright, now we got Beaver, Fenrir, Fenrir, Starter, Solik, so we're going to just normal summon Beaver, and then Beaver effect. And at this point in the tournament, you definitely know what your opponent is on, uh, so they definitely know what they're both playing against. So Beaver can go summon out Ingler. Yep, so bring that out. Um... Link those off. So we're just going to go in the sprint, dump another angler. Yeah, it's not like we're going to dump a Miri. We don't have any other, like, aquas. And they chain shifter. So now this says banish a level 2 from deck instead of send one. So what are we going to dump here, then? We're we just going to dump, like, a random body, like a random angler. Or do we dump... Oh, okay, yeah, we could just dump Ibli. <laughs> we're not going to need that card. Um, then activate starter, but Michael's build is the going second build of Flounderies with like all the going second cards. So you may think Ibli is really bad against them, but it's actually not because it makes it to where they can't evenly lightning storm, anything like that. But blue go search, I mean, it's not the greatest cause like you're not going to lock them with it and you're going to give them like a free tribute body, but starter for blue, blue go search. Uh, this could just search red and special red. And then we'll have like Fenrir plus red through shifter. Doesn't sound bad. Oh, also, uh, Fenrir is supposed to be in defense. Especially if you're going up against the Flounderie strategy. Because Fenrir tries to banish Empen a lot of the time. And you can't do that if it's an attack. But also because like they're never going to beat over anything. Uh, they're never going to be able to, like, beat over Fenrir anyways. Unless they have, like, a tribute summon. But they go for Jet, and then Jet to go search for Smashers. Okay. Uh, Smashers. We're not going to be able to use it, though. Because we're not going to have anything in the graveyard. And we don't have any sprite cards in hand. So we're not going to be able to banish for cost. So maybe just holding it for, like, the next turn. But we can still go for Gigantic, and then Gigantic goes summon red. Yeah. Okay, so summon, effect, detach. And then summon red. And I think that's all we're going to be doing. Uh, that Gigantic, and attack, oh. Uh, okay, yeah, it looks like it's going through. For a second, it, it looks like... Uh, the opponent was saying, like, oh, wait a second. Maybe, like, saving an imperm until then. This is, uh, yeah, they're definitely going to go summon red. Could summon Miri. Uh, they have Solik. But, alright, so... We have red... Oh, we're going to link those off. Okay, so it's going to go for elf. And then we can go elf effect, summon back. Doesn't summon elf to the left where it protects the Fenrir. So, elf effect, bring back angler. Okay, so we have red that can tribute angler for free. It's also just a free body. We have Fenrir banish.
Mm, okay. I mean, it's like, yeah, I guess like a little bit better than leaving the Gigantic on board with the blue. It's not really accomplishing that much more. Alright, starts off by activating duality. Uh, reveals evenly terraforming Robin. Oh? Alright. I mean, evenly seems really strong here. We did also set Smasher, Solik, which weren't doing anything. Those could just play into the evenly very hard. Putting them down on, I'm guessing, just Fenrir. Okay, they're going to read Fenrir now. Maybe doesn't want to grab evenly because they need a starter. Or maybe if they grab evenly, they can't play through the Fenrir banish. Could grab Terraforming. Um, you're not going to try to Mystic Mind Lock. That'd be very bad here when you know your opponent has Smashers. I think I see map in their hand. Okay, so definitely not terraforming. Okay, grabs Robin, put back. So it doesn't grab evenly. So we don't have to be afraid of evenly just trading with a bunch of our cards. See adventure, so we do adventure, Robin, map. And they had drop shifter. Yeah, like <laughs> Flounderies, standard. Elf effects, summon back beaver. Lightning storm. Are they calling back row? Yeah, uh, they're gonna hit Solix Smashers. Okay, traded with no interruptions there. We still have our Fenrir and our Red Live. Okay, so activate map. And then map effect, reveal Robin, go banish. Okay, that's gonna banish Eagle. And then bring out Robin, Robin 1, Eagle 2. So you could red negate eagle add back, but that seems bad. Cousin Robin's gonna go search eagle anyways. Okay, yeah, I think this is gonna go through. Alright, so add back eagle, then they get to go search. And then they'll have their extra summon off of the Robin. Could grab Ostrich. Um, Ostrich can ban a Shifter from Grave. Could grab Toucan. We did see Adventure in hand. Alright, so grab Toucan. And then it looks like they're going to try to resolve their chain. Because they wanted to go Fenrir, Banish, Map. But, you know, they still had to resolve their chain link. So they're going to chain red, tributing elf to negate and destroy. And then, yeah, so trying to red, tribute elf to negate and destroy. And then chain adventure. Okay, adventure. Banish an eagle. Okay, and then what are they going to search off this? Because they're going to go search what? Empen? Yeah, go search Empen. Or at least I think that's Empen. C could be Snow. <laughs> But I'm going to send that something. Gain 500. It's 
It's also crazy how, like, people in, like, the Twitch chat are always just so wrong. Wait, so... Then they normal summoned out Tukin. Didn't use the effect. But... That's their extra summon. Wait. Because Eagle didn't get an extra summon. Because Eagle was negated with red. So if Eagle is negated with red. Then the normal summon 2 can no effect. That's their regular normal then. So they messed up. Oh my gosh. How do you mess up with Flounderies? This deck is so simple, turn one. <laughs> oh my gosh. All you had to do was just say two can effect and you won the game. And like, the Fenrir was an attack too, so Empen would stick. Wow. Wow, he threw. Yeah, that goes back to hand. Wow, what a bot. Yo, that's crazy. I'm not going to lie. That is crazy. There is no way. <laughs> Maybe he just thought the token was summoned off of the eagle, but eagle was negated with red. Oh, it puts a pause play thing up. Okay. I guess we can uh, just skip ahead until it's green. Since we already know what happened. But shouldn't the judges too? Or maybe they're trying to find out what warning to give. But okay. Battle phase, beat over, beaver, beat over, angler. You gotta be really happy if you see your opponent doing that after... Supposed to be super far ahead. Draws Miri. Okay, sadly can't Fenrir. Search Fenrir. Switches red to attack. And then attack. Fenrir. Banish map. And then attack goes through. Beat over Tukin. So we won't know anything that they have, right? Yeah, attack over. And then we just go... Main phase two, uh, normal summon Miri, Miri effect. Let's see, it hits, oh, Hafinas, Talons, Talons. Okay, Hafinas effect to fuse, and then that can make us kick Kalos. Okay, so make kick Kalos, and then we can get kick Kalos effect to search. Oh, and that's gonna. Probably just go search Rhino. Yeah, because like, we already searched Miri. We already did the Miri mill. So at this point, you can just search Rhino. And then we can, like, kit tag out in the Rhino. Mill 5, go dump 1, guaranteed fuse again. I don't know how many cards uh, Flying Reese has in hand right now. But it's not going to be a lot. Oh, yeah, also the map is banished face down, not face up. Bring that out. Effects. 1, 2. Mill 5. We already used Hafinas. Hit Shaylin there. Hafinas. Beaver. Beaver. Grief. And Grief can add back the Solik that's banished off of the Lightning Storm earlier under Shifter. So that means we're going to have Solik set up. Uh, we could go... We could go Kaleidos spin the back row if we wanted to. We could go Dragos to Paleo. Um, Kaleido spinning in the back row seems really good. Because so you put them on very little cards. Oh, they only had one in hand. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you do that for sure. Because then you know the last card in hand is Empen. And then you have Solik to negate whatever they top deck. And then, yeah, go for game. But alright, gonna win game one. A game one that, you know, maybe should not have been his to win. Oh, on to the next game. Uh, we're going to go ahead, we're going to see Flamdurys go first, we're going to Trap Trick, Empen, and Harpy's Feather Storm. So, when you see your opponent mill like that off duality, they either have Harpies, 
and you're going to get blown out or they have no engine and they don't do anything. So they're going to grab Harpies. I also saw Empen in the hand. So maybe that's why they didn't grab Empen or maybe they already have another trap. Um, you could also trap trick in the other things depending on what they play. If they play like two Dreaming Town. Set three pass. We see grief terraforming. Okay, so terraforming is nice. It gets you to plan it. Uh, grief is good. Both both grief and terraforming are like, you know, starters. Uh, I guess like grief isn't like a one card starter, but we see that they have other tier cards in their hands, so it's gonna work. Uh, activate planet. Planet goes search. I mean, the we know like any other Feather Storms set aren't going to do anything. Uh, we just need to play through like Imperms. Yeah, isn't it like just Imperm? What else would that deck really have? I guess like if they hit you with like Macro Cosmos here or something, that would suck. Discard Beaver, Mill 3. I mean, hit Scream off of it. Okay, so Scream is going to let us go search. Go grab Solik. Yeah, making him fix the graveyard. Probably just getting really hype here. Activate Grief, go Summon Rhino, and then Sun Rhino. Yeah, Summon, Send, and then Rhino Effect. Discard Solik, Summon Out. And then New Chain Link, we can get Rhino 1, Solik 2. Go Search, go Dump. Uh, they're probably gonna... They might impermanent. Oh, what do they have set exactly? Because we know they have Trap Trick 2. Okay. Uh, that looks like it's going through. Okay, okay. So, slowing down for a second. Uh, you know, thinking through the lines. You know, you really don't want to mess up. So grab Miri, dump Hafinas, Hafinas effect diffuse. Yeah, so then Hafinas will put itself in Miri to the bottom, bring out Kekalos, uh, Kekalos 1, Planet 2, target random back row to try to pop it. Chain Imperm on Kit. Okay. Okay. At least the planet didn't target Imperm. Okay, so now we also get to destroy Harpies. Which is a good hit. It seems like it may not be the greatest hit, but it is. Summon Beaver. Beaver effect. Uh, this is going to threaten game. I mean, we have 2, 23, 28. Overlay. Um, okay, Link Off. Go for Elf. Activate Trap Trick. But what does Trap Trick get? Do they... It's like they don't have Dreaming Town in the combo. Otherwise, they would have just tried to play in it last turn. Uh, okay, set an Imperm. Okay. I mean, that's still... Yeah, I was going to say, that's still just game. So, it goes ahead, attacks your game. We're going to see Chris LeBlanc win there. See him. Yes, sir. It's serious city boys. See right there. Uh, shout out to uh, shout out to Chris for winning. Uh, shout out to JNC best team. And yeah, we're gonna see Tier win over Flanders. I'm so happy Flanders didn't win. Holy, uh, this could have been someone completely else, and I would have just wanted them to win. I I hate Flanders. I'm happy they didn't win a YCS. They also go completely through. I don't know how you play that bad. Um, and maybe they were just nervous or something because, like, they were on the stream. But that was crazy. And with all of that being said, uh, I'm not going to do the top eight, our top four matches just because I want to go back to high rated DB. And also, you guys might hear a fan in the background. I am on my new PC and I gotta, I gotta, like, set up everything and change my whole room setup so that way you guys don't hear that. So that might take a day or two. And the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.